Geek TV presents Homework Hotline, the after-school show that fuses learning with fun. Watch local teachers bring the classroom on air and online. This is Homework Hotline. Hi, welcome to Homework Hotline. My name is Dan Schofield. I teach science at St. Bernard's Academy. Yeah, welcome to Homework Hotline. Um, we uh, are on the cooking set again, and so we are going to cook things, right? Um, last time, we um, last time we did hot sugar and stuff to do with hot sugar. So we did um, we made some started making rock candy, and so um, so now and then we also did some candy glass. And so um, right now we let this sit for a couple days. And this is the rock candy. And if you look in here, you can see there's lots of great crystals forming on this. It also did stick to the bottom. So I'd have to pry that loose a little bit, but I think I could, I could do that. But really, if you take a look in there close, you can see all these crystals forming around the stick. Um, I think I'd want to wait a couple more days before getting this out of there because it still has a lot more crystallization to happen. But, but it's you know, something we did last time, and, and I think it's going to be really nice when it gets done. Um, we also made some. The blue one was pretty cool too, but yeah. again, that one I think is stuck to the bottom. Yeah, it's stuck to the bottom. Well. I think I got the sticks a little too close to the bottom. Um, maybe just up another inch, so uh, done. So raise a little bit higher, be a little better, so it wouldn't be stuck. But I think I can still get this out of here, and it'll be pretty good. Um, what really came out nicely was the, the candy the gla glass. sugar glass. So sugar glass. this is what we made. Remember, this is the similar mixture, and we heated it up for to the um, the hard crack stage of, of uh, sugar temperature, about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and then took it out of there, poured it on here, a little bit of a greased pan, and um, let it sit. Usually after a couple hours it works, but this has been two days, and it's been sitting in, in there, and now it's this. So we got that. Hello. Ooh, Ooh. wow. Very cool. You want me to karate chop it? You could. You could, <laughs> if I drop it right here, it'd break into little pieces. Um, might make a mess. I don't know. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it home to the, to the kids and let them see it. So. Cool. <laughs> anyway, this is really fun, and you can it can break and in, into little pieces. Um, if you ever had Jolly Ranchers, it's kind of similar in texture to a Jolly Rancher. Um, sugar and water. Sugar and right? water. Oh, much. and this one had some. Uh, this one had some corn syrup because we did not want it to crystallize. We wanted it to not stay like glass. So. Awesome. Um, it worked. Anyway. And if you notice, Dan is wearing a mom is just wow, upside down. Happy Mother's Day coming up on Sunday. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. And happy Teacher Appreciation Week. That's to right. You and I feel other very appreciated. There. Okay. Are you guys ready to move on to eggs? Yes. Let's Kay. move on to some eggs. So, how do you like your eggs? We'll go to the slideshow real quickly. So this is what our homework hotline is about today. So think about that question, how do you like your eggs? And then by the end of our time today, maybe you'll know more how you like your eggs. I know okay. I called my dad and he said he likes them over easy. How about you? I'm pretty boring. I like them scrambled, but I also like omelets a lot. So if you say like an omelet like egg, I like mixing them all together and, and um, just kind of making it, putting stuff on them. On omelets, Adding so. veggies. Oh yeah, and cheese and yep. good stuff. Omelets are delicious. Oh, yeah, I love them. Okay, so we're going to look back at the screen real quickly, and you're going to see that what kind of animals lay eggs. Let's really, let's look at that first. The picture on the left, oh boy, how do we say that? Ovivorous, ovivorous. Okay, yep. <laughs> or non ovivorous. So, ovivorous animals will lay eggs. And we've got like reptiles, birds, um, frogs, penguins, fish. Couple other ones. I see there's, a, is that a butterfly or moth? Okay. Yeah. But then there's some animals that do not lay eggs. Their, aunt, their babies come out as um, live, live they bird. have gestation yeah. periods and are developed inside. Okay. And then uh, most of us, though, as humans, a lot of us eat chicken eggs. So chicken eggs, though, that are not fertilized, right? Mm hmm. Okay, if the egg was fertilized, then it would have to sit for a while so the little chick can develop and then hatch eventually. 
So we usually eat non-fertilized eggs in some form. Okay, and then I have a friend, Renee, who raises chickens or has some chickens as pets, and she has a little fun fact about eggs that she wants to share with us. Hi everyone, so my name is Renee and I'm a math teacher at Northern United Humboldt Charter School. And as you can see, I have pet chickens. So here's a little fun fact about eggs. Um, right when a chicken lays an egg, you actually don't need to refrigerate it immediately because it has a protective film over it. And you only need to refrigerate it once you wash the egg or if you've put it in the fridge already. But when it's fresh from the chicken, then you can let it sit out on the counter for a couple weeks, so good to know. If you buy eggs at the farmer's market, just ask the, uh, the farmer if they've washed them, and if they haven't, then you can let them sit out. Cool fact! Yeah, that's great. Did you know that? I, I did know that, actually, from my, my daughter. Um, they have chickens and ducks, and so... Okay, <laughs> so actually, Renee had given me some of her pet chicken eggs, and we're gonna use those for the show today. Ooh. Now, if we notice, there are some different colored eggs. And so I'm assuming different kinds of chickens will lay different colored of eggs and That come from a so blue on. chicken? A blue, well, it's kind of like a grayish blue, yes. It, <laughs> it maybe looks more white. Let me put it next to the actually white one. Let's see if that shows up maybe over the top here, the difference in color. No, nope, doesn't really show up. But definitely like a tanner egg oh, yeah. may show that up. That shows up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but these two eggs here, I'm gonna give these to you because you're gonna do a little demonstration later on. Okay. And um, I'm gonna give you this one too. All right. Okay. Thank you. And um, you <laughs> can tell by crack. the difference, <laughs> but we're also gonna tell by the difference in color between the two eggs. But you're going to do a little demo later how else you can tell the difference between those two particular eggs. Mm. Okay, so we're going to do that in a little bit. But first, let's look at this next slide here. Remember that question? Oops. How do you like your eggs? How do you like your eggs? Oh my goodness, there's so many different things you could do Ooh, and make. You could make an omelet like you talked about. We could poach eggs, that's kind of exciting, where you put an egg into boiling water. Nice. Okay, after it's cracked, crack the egg, right, put it in right. boiling water. <laughs> Sunny side up is another way, over easy, over medium, over hard, okay? Those four we're gonna demo, and hopefully I can make a sunny side up one and not flop it, and then the other three. We could bake eggs, scramble eggs, fry eggs, boil eggs, or I like my eggs and my pancakes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Mix them on up. So, boiled eggs and soft boiled or hard boiled, it really depends on that other picture there, how many minutes you have it in or on top of steam or even in boiling water. Um, some have preference, either they steam their eggs or they put it in boiling water. But what do you notice as the time gets longer? Looks like it gets a bit more and more of a hard boiled egg. The yolk yeah, on the yolk, inside yeah. gets firmer, yeah. firmer, sometimes kind of uh, mushy right. and would fall apart even more. Mm. So if you have accidentally forgotten your boiled eggs or steaming your eggs, your yolk inside is going to be much firmer right. and more cooked. Okay, well let's, let's try to do the sunny side up over easy and all the other. So I have my griddle on here and I'm just putting some water on it to see if it's hot and it is. It looks like it I don't is. Know if you can it looks hear great. The Sizzling. Sizzle. I love that sound. Okay. I'm going to set these. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll take keep. them. Well, sometimes I like to put the cracked oh, the shell back Perfect. in there. There's a lot of cool things you can do with eggs, but I'm going to try to make a sunny side up and over easy over medium and over hard. What do you think is the difference? Um, over easy is easier to make. You think so? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. That was a nice, look at that. That is think a, so? Yeah, okay. Looks beautiful. So I'm gonna get more on here. 
let's see, it says add more. Okay. Ooh, these are bright orange. They are really bright milks. orange eggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay do you have a trick on cracking eggs i don't you, I would, i'd love to know some more tricks i often get shells and things so okay so a trick i heard i used to crack it on the side of a, a bowl yeah, right? i heard yeah if you do that it gets shells in it it right? gets shells in it correct so i don't do it on the side of a bowl anymore i do it on a flat surface so flat surface yeah okay yeah. and then ooh, it did come apart a little bit but so, when I crack it, pull it apart, the egg shell doesn't fall out. Let's say an egg shell did fall out. I'll sneak a little piece of egg shell in there. How do you get that out? It can kind of slide around. You don't want to put your hand on there. Just use the egg shell. Oh, right. It will adhese or, you know, um, stick to it. Yeah. So I got the shell out. Okay. Oh, my nice poor trick. egg yolk. My yolk fell apart. That will be the fried egg. The fried egg. Okay. <laughs> so, sunny side up means I'm going to have this on here for three minutes. And that's it. Okay. I'm going to leave it just there for three minutes. And I won't flip it. Okay. Basically. And so, sunny side up, the sun is shining that makes on sense. your sunny side up egg. Now, you order your eggs or you ask for it to be sunny side up if you like it really runny. Mm -hmm. I don't. Okay. Some people really like I it. Know, I know. I know. A lot of people like it runny. Um, some might call that raw, <laughs> <laughs> um, but some like it. Wriggling. Okay. <laughs> when I want to do an over easy, I'm going to turn one of the eggs and only cook it for like 30 minutes, seconds, 30 okay. seconds. Could that be over easy? That means it's still kind of runny inside, right? Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. And. Let's see. I'm almost at my three minute mark. Can I want me to move these? Yeah. Okay. That'd be I'm good. I got space over here. Okay. It's almost ready. Now flipping an egg is a little tricky and depending on what kind of pan you use makes it even trickier or less tricky. So if you use like a nonstick pan that works. I have a nonstick griddle that I'm using. Some people really like cast iron. Uh -huh. And if you like to add flavor or want it easier to flip, you would add some fat. So like butter okay. would have been really good to add or oil. Okay, I think we're at our three minutes. I'm going to give this sunny side up one. We're going to use this one as the sunny side up. All right. Oh. Got to get off of there. You might have this. Yep, I think so. Oh, don't crack. Don't break the sun. Oh, no, it worked. okay, good. So I'm going to do an over easy. Oh, <laughs> try to flip it. That's 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm going to flip this one also. Come here. And I want to do that one for a minute to make it over medium. Okay, and then this one is going to be for someone who doesn't like any runniness, and that one's going to be the over hard. Okay. Okay? All right, and sometimes you can kind of touch it and jiggle it. That's what I like to do, too, is, like, see how much it jiggles? That can tell me how much runniness is left in it. Okay, so I think our over easy is almost done. Whoa! <laughs> All right. So there is a comparison between sunny side up and over easy. I forget. What did you say you liked? I, I like scrambled. scrambled. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't want to have any liquid. Okay. <laughs> now another thing is you want to have your paint, your um, turner to be clean. So I'm going to wash it off real it. quickly. You do oh, you, you'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To make scrambled eggs, we're going to add a couple eggs into a bowl, whisk it up and then we're gonna put on a pan. So if you don't mind getting the pan hot. Sure, you want this a little damp? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna grab our over medium. If you add fat to this, like butter or oil, 
then it can come off the pan a little bit easier. Let me pull That's off. an interesting color on the bottom, too. Okay, <laughs> so that one's over medium, and it kind of has still a oh, jiggle. Yeah. That's my favorite. I like it over medium. Okay, and then this one over hard, it would be two to three minutes. But you know the yolk was already broken. Right. So then that made it cook. This is more lot. like a fried egg. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Fun, huh? Yeah. Okay. So you get to decide. Sunny side up, over easy. Sunny side up, over easy. Over medium, where there's a little bit of jiggle in there, or over hard. Nice. Do you want to actually want me to move the pan over there? And then over where? Right next, right in front of you, and I'll take those things. What things? These things? Yeah. Okay. I think they can. Okay. Should we not put it on here? Is that's that what fine. You're no, no, okay, that's good. Okay. All right. So this is heating up. Um, I have it on. I don't. I'm not used to the stove, but I have it on kind of low. Okay. We'll take these off just in case. And you wanted me to scramble up some eggs. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna do scrambled eggs. This is the fun part. All right. Maybe just two of them. Now, anytime you're cooking in the kitchen, don't do it alone, right? Have supervision. Right. Especially with something hot. All right, so I'm going to crack this on a table, like you said. Yeah, just a flat surface. And while you're doing that, I'm going to, I'm going to make some scrambled eggs over here, too. How many are you going to do? About two? I'm going to do two. I like to okay. do two at a time. Two at a time. Okay. But I'm going to use a different tool. You're going to use a whisk, and I'm going to use... This is actually called a whipped cream maker. Oh, okay. But you can do scrambled eggs. Some people add a little bit of milk to their scrambled eggs. Or even, I've, I've seen water too. And or then just course water. Do you want water? I have oh, some. No, I, it's good. Okay. It's good. All right. Mine is pretty scrambled. All right. And the more you whisk it, the fluffier scrambled eggs can be. Okay. Okay. This little tool has like a whisk on the inside. Oh, fun. And if I was going to make whipped cream, I would or I would do heavy whipping cream in here and some sugar and maybe a little bit of vanilla. But this, I'm going to just do the scrambled eggs and go up and down. Okay. And hopefully they'll be fluffy. Is your okay. pan getting hot? It's, I would, it's ready to go. Okay, you want me to sprinkle some water and see if it sizzles? Sure. Oh, it's sizzling. We're good. <laughs> Okay, so your scrambled eggs, and you will need one of these guys, right? All right, yes. Am I going to put a little butter on it, or just like, keep it? Would no. you like butter? I'd like. I always like putting a little okay. butter in it. <laughs> What's a little butter? Oh yeah, it's, it's better. <laughs> well, <laughs> here we'll do that. I didn't bring a metal knife. I should have brought a metal knife. Okay, you want more? Fine. That's good. Okay. It's a little hot. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, here we go. I didn't know I'd be cooking today. Well, that's why you have your apron on. I know. That's great. There it is. Ooh. And I lifted it up because it was getting a little hot. And I wanted to cool down. It's just okay. one of the fastest way to cool it down. No, I always just when I do scrambled eggs, I just like to stir. I just like to go. I'm going to add mine too. Is sure. that okay? That's fine. It's crazy. These are. This is a f total of four eggs, but when we get done, it doesn't look like four eggs anymore, like our surface area of these eggs, right? Right. It's, <laughs> I just keep mixing when I make scrambled eggs. I don't know about you. Yep. You know what I also add scrambled eggs to is when I make fried rice. Oh, that's really good. You just put it in there and. Yep. Fry the up. rice up, warm everything up. Boy, it looks like you've done this before. I do this a lot. <laughs> Although I'm not used to this pan. I'd <laughs> yeah, it's okay if it sticks. I, it'll come clean. Yeah, and then I'll just, I can just, you can just leave it alone for a second. A lot of times at this point, I'll just cover it and then turn it off. So this is almost done. It's a little, you know. So you like your scrambled eggs a little glossy? I like them a, just a little glossy. But scrambled eggs, how do you like your scrambled <laughs> eggs? <laughs> They're even different, right? Yes, even different. But, I mean, you know, you can make, you can make scrambled egg pretty easily, right? Yeah. You, you won't starve. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go and buy macaroni and cheese boxes in college. You can make, you know, when you get to college, you can make scrambled eggs. You're, you're going to be good. Okay, so we're not going to demo poached eggs, but that could be another way. 
or you could put it in the oven to have it baked eggs, okay? The hard boiled, soft boiled, the little trick or the demo we're going to show that one is how they turn differently. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give you the tray. Sure. All right. Let me put these. I'll put this somewhere. I'll put this in here. Are we done with the spatula? I think so. Okay. Yeah. And I can just get it to wash. Let's see. Sunny, medium to hard. Okay. Do we want this up here? Sure. If we're going to do that now, that's, that's fine. Okay, so hard boiled egg. This, the white hard boiled egg is one that my husband did earlier in the week. And a little tip that Renee said that you want to hard boil eggs that are older. So the older your eggs, the better they are for getting the, the, the shell off okay. after you hard boil. There's lots of other tricks on how do you get the shells off the easiest. Right. What um, is that trick? I mean, I've heard like you maybe put in a little salt water sometimes. That well, I use a say. pressure cooker oh, okay. when I do okay. hard boiled eggs. I put it in the pressure cooker where it steams six minutes, let it cool down for six or warm for six mm -hmm. minutes, and then an ice bath for six minutes. Okay. So there's lots of ways, lots of tricks. But Renee had said, older the, the eggs, the, the older the eggs, the easier they are to crack and take the shell off. So you just leave them in the fridge for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're baking something. You want to use fresher eggs. So, so if I if I had my eggs in a box and I, I mixed my hard boiled and my in my regular Oops. eggs together and I wanted to know which one was a hard boiled egg. That sounds like an April Fool's trick. To put them all hard mix hard boiled eggs with with you, raw eggs. <laughs> yeah, you go you go to you go to you know get your lunch out, you want your hard boiled egg and you crack it open <laughs> and it gets all over the place. <laughs> well way you can tell if you're not not sure, this is what if you just spun it because it's completely solid on the inside. Look how easy this thing spins. In fact, I could probably get it even to stand up. So it's spinning really easily because it's solid. It's solid throughout. All right, and then a non, this is a little bit of rotational physics going on here too, Ooh, right? Fine. So, so the, what happens when you spin, it's a, first of all, it's harder, it doesn't spin as much. I, I put about the same, pre, um, the same torque on it right here that I did the other egg. Yeah, and I don't hear and that, it's that not fun spinning sound as much, first of all, because what it's doing is it's spinning the liquid part on the inside. I'm still putting as much energy into it, right? So that all the that energy that's also spinning the inside. And one, another way you can tell is that even if I stop it, the inside will keep spinning. And then if I let go again, it should keep going. So if we do this, wait, hold, let me try it again. I go like this, I just spin it, and I stop it, and then let it go again, it keeps going. I'll do that again. Because free. that free yolk. Yeah, the free yolk is still moving. spinning on the inside. Stop. And it keeps oh. going. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And so it's still. Does it matter how long you stop it? Well, let's find out. It probably, I mean, eventually the, eventually the inside is going to keep, it's going to, I just, it's hard to get this. Eventually the inside will stop in the inside. I won't be able to do it, but it's uh, a little bit. You got to be pretty quick about it. Stop and let it keep. I mean, it's well, at least it keeps going. You know, it. Yeah. And then I'm not, I'm not this, spitting it. This poor little egg is saying, <laughs> Leave hey, me alone. Mr. Schofield. <laughs> I'm dizzy <laughs> from spitting so much. Should we try it again? Sure, you can okay. try it. Go we'll try them right next to each other. How's that? Okay, here we go. So I have the raw, you have the hard boiled. Here We're we gonna go. spin. Oh, you have better torque. Mine even got up on the end. Yes. Yeah, if you try stop. to stop. Oh, <laughs> stop, and it kept going. Yeah, nice. Okay, not perfect, but it was kind of fun. Huh? Cool. So what do we do with the, like if we, we did a poached egg, what would we do? How would we do that? How would we do a poached egg? Sure. Boiling water, which I wish we would have had boiling water. We could have done that. Yeah. It would have been easy. Well, we to know about boiling it. water. Yeah. Okay. okay. So boiling water, crack the egg, and I'm assuming just put it in there. I honestly I haven't made a poached egg. Oh, okay. Have you made poached eggs? I don't. So I mean, it's it's what do you what do you put poached eggs in? You like know, eggs. some people like it on like their hamburger <laughs> yeah. to be fancy. You know, I've watched cooking shows. You see a poached egg on there. Um, salt and pepper, you right. know, a little bit of chives on it. Lots of fancy things you could do with the eggs after you decided how you like it and different things you could add. I have salt and pepper I usually add to my eggs. I'm going to show this next slide. And it's going to be different recipes that call for eggs specifically. 
Like sometimes you can have egg substitute for things. I know there's some in this world that cannot eat chicken eggs. Um, but these recipes specifically call for eggs. So eggnog, I've made eggnog before, cream, sugar, eggs, and I blended it. Okay. Mayonnaise, have you ever made mayonnaise? I have not made mayonnaise, but my wife has made mayonnaise. Now the bottom, the bottom picture on the left shows mayonnaise that was made from eggs. And do you notice how it's not yellow? Right. So sometimes you call for just egg whites versus the yolks. Right, right. Like, including the, all the eggs. And I'll show us in a little bit how to separate an egg yolk from its white. Okay, key, oh, I'm sorry, I missed hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce, a lot of times you pour it over eggs benedict. Did I say that right? Eggs, yes. Yep, okay, so that's what that little <laughs> pouring pitcher is. Ooh, the one on the bottom, I bet, looks a lot like your omelet, yes. but it's a quiche. I love quiche. So it's like a pie. It has like pie crust on the bottom and an omelet, and you would bake it. Mm -hmm. The one in the top right corner, that's custard. One yes. of my favorites. In the state that I'm from, there is a restaurant that sells custard instead of ice cream. Nice. It's one of my favorites. Um, so you can either have frozen custard, or we put custard in a pie, too. It's kind of like put pudding. Yeah. And then egg sandwiches, and I found that cool picture. You could also do deviled eggs. That's the one, right. another family favorite for many. Sandwiches or any kind of baked goods have eggs in them. Right. Whenever too. the deviled eggs come out, they, they disappear. Oh, they do. Okay, let's look at how do you separate an egg. We might have some time to do that. Okay, so, oops, I need a little bit firmer surface. So. Crack it on a flat surface so that it won't go apart. Okay, does, so when you pull it apart, you're gonna keep the yolk on one side and then you see the white come out. And then to get the white from the other part, you switch it back and forth and see how that white's coming out. Right. And then this way, you need the egg yolk, you have the egg yolk. Mm-hmm. And you need the egg white, you have the egg white. So let's say you wanna make your own mayonnaise. Okay. Or you're making a white cake and you need um, egg whites, right? Well, what do you do with all these egg yolks? You don't want to waste them. Well, maybe then you could make a custard with the egg yolks. So every time you make mayonnaise, you got to make custard too? Yeah, that's it. Every so, time you make mayonnaise, <laughs> you make or, <laughs> or if you <laughs> have an egg yolk I love omelet. it. Let's see our spitting egg again. Oh, that sure. way we can show it. All right. Hopefully you guys decided how you like your, your eggs. eggs. Sunny side up, over easy, over medium, <laughs> or over hard, or maybe you like it spinning, hard boiled. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day.